There's new hope for children so sick they cannot leave their home or their hospital room, a device that allows them to interact with their classmates. CBS News correspondent Thalia Shores has the story. Yeah, it's been really a felt like a roller coaster because you go up and then you go down. The kinds of ups and downs 13-year-old Garrett yeah, Schramm is talking about aren't what he's used to as an athlete. He's talking about the challenges of Ewing sarcoma, an aggressive bone cancer that hits children and teenagers. I was too sick to do anything that I used to. I, could, I didn't skateboard anymore. I couldn't play football anymore, any of it. Garrett, who lives in Boise, Idaho, couldn't go to school either after developing the disease last August. That's because the high bursts of radiation and 14 rounds of heavy-dose chemotherapy he received suppressed his immune system. Even the weakest germs could have killed him. So school came to Garrett. Not only is there a classroom and a full-time teacher here at St. Luke's Children's Hospital, there's a unique learning tool. It allowed Garrett to learn right along with his classmates at Sawtooth Middle School miles away. This is what did it, a device with tiny cameras pointed in every direction. It's called the round table and it was initially developed for business video conferences. I see the whole classroom down here. The technology provided a real-time video audio connection between the hospital and Garrett's school. Garrett is the first student in the country to have used it. All right, Garrett, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, Garrett, um, you're a little bit ahead of us on this assignment. So uh, what theme did you come up with? Um, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, all right, good. Not only did it mean keeping up with lessons and getting good grades. It made me feel more normal at times. It also impressed his classmates. It's very exciting and stuff because it's very new technology and it allows Garrett and other kids in hospitals to interact with kids their age. But the real value of the technology may be what Garrett's teacher considers its healing power. And I think that keeping him connected to his community, to his peers and to his teachers has made all the difference in the world. It's a lot simpler for Garrett's dad, who calls his son his champion. What's the best part of it in, in terms of, of, of Garrett? Watching him achieve under um, negative circumstances. Watching him excel because it's changed him dramatically. You're very proud of him, aren't you? And Garrett is helping change long-term hospital stays for children across the country. You can bring it to the future, huh, for other kids? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's my goal. So I hope every, every kid that is going through this gets to use one. Dozens more hospitals are ordering round tables. Sounds like an A-plus for Garrett Schramm. Thalia Shuras, CBS News, Boise, Idaho.